I'm here with Antoine from Gourmet en Provence. Antoine, can you tell me a bit about Caviari? Well, Caviari uh, is uh, simply 40 years experience mm -hmm. in the caviar industry. Mm -hmm. uh, it's one of the main actors in the world, okay. based in Paris. Mm -hmm. uh, we import uh, uh, caviar from all around the world. Mm -hmm. um, and different different species. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, we mature them and we distribute mainly to uh, three, three Michelin star chef, Michelin star chef, five star hotel, okay. etc. In the retail, we see premium boutique. Mm -hmm. um, so here we have a nice uh, nice selection uh, today. Oh, great. Uh, from Italy, Bulgaria, mm -hmm. China, Iran. Uh, and also on the side, uh, there is also a range of seafood, so salmon, uh, salmon roe, mm -hmm. uh, smoke hill, uh, smoke fishes, uh, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of uh, seafood products. Okay. And Antoine, which is the most famous caviar in Hong Kong currently? Alors, uh, now, mm. for a few, three years, mm -hmm. let's say, uh, the Chinese caviar becomes the most popular. Really? Uh, and uh, also in terms of quality, mm -hmm. uh, stability, mm -hmm. uh, uh, it becomes very, very, very uh, premium. It's uh, really interesting. It, it was the cheapest before, now mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's a medium range. Wow. Okay, so here we have Stefan Bergen from La Balancia. Stefan's doing the white truffles. Can you tell me a bit about the company? The company is a, is a German company, but uh, mm -hmm. we are very connected with, them, with another Italian company. Mm -hmm. which, uh, which is a joint venture. Mm -hmm. them. And uh, every week we are three or four days in Italy. Okay. Wow. And I see we have a really big truffle behind us. Can we yeah. have a look at it? This is something special because it's a, it's a, it's a white truffle, mm -hmm. about 500 grams. 500 grams? Yeah. And wow. The, and, the, and the form is very round and it's very tasty. Can I smell it? Oh, it's incredible. Yeah, that's really great. And white truffle would be used on top of pasta. Yeah, yeah for you, you use on always simple things. Okay. Pasta, rice, eggs. And how and does the taste differ from black truffle? Mm. In, a, in a certain sense, the white truffle is stronger, mm -hmm. but in another sense, he is more sensible. Okay. That means. Uh, you have to use a neutral, neutral mm. pasta rice, something like that. If, mm. if, if you use it with something fried or something mm. like that, it doesn't work. Okay, and who is buying it in Hong Kong? In Hong Kong, I'm buying. Uh, we are working. Uh, the big hotel. Yeah, with with Robito, we are working with Pierre Garnier. Wow. Yeah, yeah, with, yeah, with the great chefs because. Uh, what we are doing, uh, you have to know there are many, many qualities of white truffles mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and what we are doing is always high quality. Okay. There, there, there are many who have less prices than, than us, but, mm. but in quality I think we are really on the top. That's great. Thank you for bringing such a large one today. <laughs> really nice to meet you, Stefan. Hi. Thank you. Thank Thanks. You. I've got some bread in my throat. <laughs> so here we have Alexandre Palma from Palma Butchery. Alexandre, please tell me about your company. Um, me, I'm a farmer and butcher, mm -hmm. and I'm the sixth generation in my family. Uh, we are the most older butcher in France uh, okay. since uh, 1847. Wow. And uh, I have three butchery. Uh, one in my little town in Lorraine, northeast in France. Mm -hmm. One in Paris in Saint Germain des Prés, and one in Rome in Italy uh, in Poitiers. Okay. And when did you get involved with Gourmet en Provence? Uh, uh, when did he get involved, like with Gourmet en Provence? Okay. Ah, okay. Uh, it's just same question. Yeah, same. Okay. Okay. It's not a problem. Uh, we need to. It's not fine. Okay. And start. So, okay. yep. So, Alexandre, please tell me when did you get involved with Gourmet en Provence? Uh, uh, I call uh, Antoine Piccolo. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry. That's okay. They just edit. Yeah. Uh, Antoine Piccolo called me there two years ago mm -hmm. when he met uh, Jacques Genin, a uh, very nice friend who are chocolate man. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I have a big appointment with Antoine in the restaurant in Paris. Mm -hmm. And uh, two months after, I mm -hmm. went to Hong Kong and I make a very big show in the Boston Bar in the Ritz Carlton. Oh, wow, wow. Let's take that question one more time. Okay? Okay. Just, 
Okay, so Alexandre, please tell me, how did you get involved with Gourmet en Provence? Uh, there are two years ago, mm -hmm. uh, Antoine Piccolo called me by phone, mm -hmm. and when he met Jacques Genard, a very nice friend, who are uh, chocolate men in Paris. Okay. And uh, two days after, I have a big appointment with Antoine in wow. a restaurant in Paris. And uh, two months after, I make a very nice show in Ozone Bar in Hong Kong. Oh, that's so great. Can we try some of your beef? I haven't tried it yet. Um, tonight we can try uh, air dry beef. Okay. Um, it's a part of a beef. Mm -hmm. uh, it's aged eight weeks. Eight weeks? Yes. After we put uh, the part of the beef in the salt, eight mm -hmm. weeks more. And after uh, I put uh, the beef in the room, air dry room, mm -hmm. and uh, during 12 weeks. Wow. Try it. I would love to try it. Yes. Thank you. We have a lot of chefs who cook it. Uh, really? We work with. Uh, he put uh, air dry beef with fish and that is very nice. The, the flavor is very sweet mm. and strong after in, inside and uh, it's a feminine meat. Very nice. Well, and what do we have here? That is a carpaccio. Oh, carpaccio. Cut by knife with uh, olive oil and uh, lemon. And that to, to make a maki of beef, mm. beef, beef maki with uh, beef patty, carpaccio and air dry meat. Three beef together. I like that. Yes, it's yeah. amazing. Really like that. And the last one? And the last one is a tartar cut uh -huh. by knife. Okay. And I cook this, uh, this tartar with Michel Roth, the older chef uh, to the Ritz in Paris. Mm -hmm. And you have uh, carpaccio and air dry beef. No way. Cut by knife and uh, we put together. Wow. That is uh, very nice. Mm. Very sweet. Beautiful. Thank you. Wow. Stunning. Thank you so much, Stefan. Nice to Thank meet you. you. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Daniel. See you. Bye. <laughs> Okay, so here we have Nicola Robert from Lack Wine Consulting. Uh, Nicola, please tell me about the wine. Oh, yeah, uh, we have um, a nice selection of French wine. Okay. Young, young winemaker. Mm -hmm. uh, I prepared the selection for, uh, for Gourmand Provence. And uh, it's a very beautiful wine, some champagne. Uh, we have so many beautiful champagne like Emmanuel Lassagne. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah, it's a small producer in France, and we work with all uh, three or two star Michelin restaurants in France. Really? Yeah. yeah. And how long are you guys here in Hong Kong for? Uh, just for a few days? Uh, yeah, just for one week. Okay, yeah. so you've been working with Antoine at yes. Gourmet yeah. Provence for a long time. Yeah, uh, since uh, four years ago. Okay, yeah. and in Hong Kong, what's the most popular wine or champagne? Uh, maybe uh, the most popular one is Chablis. Can I have a look at it? Yeah, sure. Cool. Ah. This is this one. This is oh, Chablis. beautiful. Yeah. So that's the most popular in Hong yeah. Kong? Yeah. Okay. This is the best seller. Can you tell me about this, this, this one? Chablis. It's from Burgundy. Burgundy. Yeah, yeah the grape is Chardonnay. Okay. okay. And it's the most, most famous grape in the world. So, Chardonnay. Wow. It's a, it's a dry white wine, very fresh, very good to start a, a lunch or dinner uh, with uh, oysters, some fish, okay. very fresh. Yeah. And can we, is there a champagne open? Can you let me taste the champagne that's very popular in Hong Kong? Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you. This is this one. So the champagne is mm -hmm. uh, just this one. I work uh, with him uh, since 2005. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I work with him when I, I was a head sommelier. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, I was a head sommelier for different famous chefs in France. Thank you. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Which chefs were they? I, I work with uh, Alain Ducasse. Okay. Chef, yeah, wow. In Monte Carlo during uh, yeah. eight years. And after I work uh, with uh, Yannick Aleno uh -huh. at uh, Hotel Le Maurice in Paris, so three star Michelin. Incredible. Yeah. Three star Michelin. Yeah. And, uh, we can drink this together. Yeah, we have two. Mm -hmm. And uh, this uh, this guy is mm -hmm. he, he very small production. Mm -hmm. Very, very small. Uh, Six uh, hundred thousand bottles per year. That's not a lot. Okay. Yeah, no. Wow. And, uh, it's only Chardonnay too. It's a blanc de blanc. Uh -huh. Extra but no sugar inside and no sulfates. It's organic champagne. Organic champagne. Yeah. yeah. Look the color. Sante. Beautiful color. Sante. Beautiful. 
Oh wow. Nice. I love that. Yeah. So really, really uh, like that. In Hong Kong, you have a lot of uh, hotel who work with the champagne, mm -hmm. like uh, 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 modern uh, oriental, uh, four season hotel, mm -hmm. uh, intercontinental, and you can work with the champagne. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much, Stefan. Nice to meet you. Me too. Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Cool, Produced that's in perfect. small farms, okay. so the best quality you can find mm -hmm. uh, in cheeses. Okay. And I also buy them, select them, mm -hmm. and bring them in my cellars. Mm -hmm. So I age them. I take care of the cheese for days, months, and years sometimes wow. to give them the right taste and the right texture. That's incredible. And I see you have something on your on your clothes. What does this mean? 2011. So th this uh, this means that I have the title of MOF. Okay. Uh, translated, it means one of the best craftsmen of France. Mm -hmm. One of. That's uh, amazing. It's a title. Yeah, it's a, one, it's a very high title in France. Mm -hmm. uh, made by the uh, the um, official regulation, uh, educational, mm -hmm. and uh, it's one every t four years. Wow. And in France, we are only 22 to have this title really? in the cheese business. So it's a great achievement. It's the best achievement you You're can get. You're an expert. Yes. Wow. And your link with Gourmet en Provence, what's your link? Well, we have started to work together for a few months. Mm -hmm. And uh, because Gourmet en Provence represents the best product yes. you can find if you're a restaurant. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy to join Gourmet en Provence to be in the middle of other um, suppliers and friends mm -hmm. for truffle, caviar, the best uh, juice. Amazing. Yes, of course. Can I try some of your cheese? Yes, of course. Okay. I'm uh, half of the Conte area, mm -hmm. half of the South area. So. Um, What's your favorite cheese here today? What my favorite cheese is depends on the time of the, the day. Yes. I like diversity. You, okay. I like having uh, soft cheeses in the morning, strong cheeses in the uh, night. Mm -hmm. So it all depends on how I feel now. Okay. But now I, I think I, I want something uh, a little bit uh, strong, mm -hmm. fresh. Mm -hmm. I have a Souvent Femme from Burgundy. Do you like from to try Burgundy, that? Burgundy, I'd love to try that. Thank okay. you. Okay. So. Uh, do you prefer to eat the cheese alone or with bread? Look, always alone because you have only the taste of the cheese and mm. the bread will help you to uh, clean your mouth in between the cheeses. But of course you need also some wine. Absolutely, wine is no, that's beautiful. So that's mm. fresh, wow. carries a little bit of bitterness. I really like it, it's mm. really good. It does. Mm. It absolutely does. So we have more than 500 cheeses. Okay. Uh, so depends on the, the, the guest you have. Mm -hmm. Depends on how you feel. Mm. You can pick up the, the cheese you want. And in Hong Kong, what's the most popular cheese? Ah, I think Conte. Yes. Yeah. Do they have that here? That's also oh, one okay. of my favorite. Can I try that? Yes, sure. Thank you. Conte, this is a two and a half years old. Okay. Um, How so long does it take to mature the cheese? It all depends on the cheese. This yeah. one? How long this would one, it take? Um, this one is two and a half years old. Okay. It is so, two and a half years old. Yeah. It's, it's a really, really nice cheese. It is uh, already mm. quite old. Should be able. We should be able to age it for another year wow. at least. Another year. Yeah. Smell that. Mm. But the smell is very sweet. It's crystallized. Um, so mm. it's very. It's a very high quality. Mm -hmm. um, so that's. We have I have booked this cheese mm. one and one and a half year ago. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's so good. It's, it's my, so good. So sorry, right part of the body. <laughs> the <part> of the <laughs> <part>. <laughs> Thank you so much, Francois. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. Good luck with everything. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, it's Aurelia, and I'm with Adam from Palais d'Ete. And we're here to present you some special flavor of infusion that they do now.
Well, last year we launched a new range of uh, uh, herbal or uh, fruit infusions called Le Garden, okay. Le Jardin uh, in French. Le Jardin. Le Jardin. Uh, Le Jardin. Garden. Yeah. Yeah. And what they are, they are blends of uh, fruit pieces, flowers, oh, wow. and spices. It smells good. Um, what's interesting is that, well, they're all natural, first of all. Yes. Um, but they no have sugar added. No added sugar. Great. Uh, no preservatives. All natural. Um, but what's great is that we can prepare them hot or we can prepare them cold. It's very good in Asia. Very good Iced in Asia. Iced tea is a must sometimes. Exactly. So what I did last night, I prepared uh, three different versions. Yes. One called Tropical Garden, another called Water Garden, and mm -hmm. the last one called English Garden. Oh, English Garden. So I, I put them in, um, in tea filters, I let them infuse overnight. Okay. And now we so, have a cold like that. Beverage. Which would you like to try? Water Garden? What a garden, go for it. Okay. Mm. Oh, it's very light, fresh, fruity. And it's no sugar added because it still has a bit sweet, that's great. Yeah, well there's a little bit of residual sugar in the but melon from the and, and the papaya and the other fruit that's in there. Yeah, but it's a natural one from the fruit, so it's perfect. Mm. Very refreshing, I like that. Perfect for Hong Kong hot summer. French summer. French summer of... 15th of July to 15th of August. But it's true. It's about it. Can I try maybe the English garden? Sure. Now the English garden is just, it's probably a little bit more refreshing because there's some mint, but it's very discreet. Oh wow. Okay. Mm. Very fragrant. Refreshing, I like that. The smell, yeah, it smells like melon, which I love the smell of, so. That's very nice, wow. Let me, um, let me see. It really looks more like, so much more than tea. It's almost like you could eat it, no? Oh, you can, actually. My God, it's like, eat it and then make a tea out of it. Great. Quite good. It is, mm. wow. Great innovation, love it. It's working quite well. Um, we now have a line of 12 different recipes. Mm -hmm. um, I would say five or six are well suited for winter time. Okay. Five or six or seven are best suited for springtime and summer. So we have something for every season. I'm definitely going to try to try them all. Thank you so much, Adam. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Hello, it's Aurelia, and I'm with Thibaut Pointe, who is uh, working for uh, Maison Bernardo, famous French porcelain, and uh, this is a few of the examples of the beautiful stuff they do. Thank you. Can you tell us a bit about the product uh, that you do? What, what makes it so different and famous? Thank you very much. Yes, so Bernardo, it's, uh, it's a French luxury brand manufacturing porcelain. Yes. Um, it's a family business, okay. operated in 1863, wow. so the Verdo family is still own the company. Okay, it's still a family business, exactly. wow. Operating the company since uh, 152 years now. Okay. We are uh, very, very uh, having a strong presence around the world. Okay. Uh, among five-star hotel, Saint Michelin restaurants, with celebrity chef of course, and not only. Of course. Uh, we have uh, wholesale and retail activity around the world, so we have shops in New York, in Paris, most in Hong Kong as well, I think. Right, as yeah. right, as you're right. We have three stores in Hong Kong. Uh, not Bernardo's store, but we are, we are doing through an exclusivity store. We have a distributor okay. in Hong Kong. Uh, where we sell uh, uh, tableware, roofware, furniture, lightings, artist collection, jewelry. Oh wow! For, uh, ladies, okay. men, anybody who enjoy uh, entertaining in home or just enjoy wearing some porcelain on them. I'm actually I've, I've seen your plates in many places before in Hong Kong. Yes. I think Robuchon has your plate, and I remember that plate which I saw in uh, in Weibo a few days ago. She's a very arty restaurant, exactly. and actually I really loved it. They had that one. And this one, like the broken face, right. yeah, I think right. it's I think it's a great concept. In, in fact, also yes, as uh, out of this retail, retail uh, business or market, mm -hmm. we have also a very strong presence, as I said, in hotel restaurants. Yes. And yes, in Hong Kong, uh, many uh, Samishan restaurants using your hotels, uh, using Bernardo, Iser, or Bernardo products, either in finding restaurants, but not only, also mm -hmm. in uh, all the dining, room service, or banqueting sometimes. And the place which you just mentioned. Yeah, I remember uh, them because they are 
They're quite oh, unique. Right. It's so hard to forget that one. They're very interesting because it's they are artist plates. So we have been collaborating with 12 famous artists around the world. Oh, that's right. Okay. Uh, this one is a French artist, a street artist. Oh wow. Uh, the other one is also uh, French, but we've been working with American uh, Jeff Koons and David Lynch. And Big uh, names. Yeah, exactly. So what we do is we, the idea of this artist collection. It's to bring a high value experience to the customer. When you go mm -hmm. to a restaurant, people want to remember, of course, uh, yes. the meal. But not only, it's about the experience. The whole experience. Of uh, the service, the interior design, the ambiance, the music, mm -hmm. not only. So the idea is to bring you know, what, what message you want your customer to, to remember of when they go to the restaurant, when yes. they leave the restaurant. And the idea here is when you finish a dish, you discover the painting. So you've seen that Robuchon. Second but layers. Exactly. So we have a rectal verso plate, by the way. Oh, wow. It's very interesting to look at this. Je ne suis pas une assiette. Quand je te vois, j'ai un appétit d'oiseau. Je te mangerai dans la main. And you have a poem at the back. Exactly. That's Mine. extremely very nice. And this one is like a broken plate. Right over I like that too. one. Yeah. So very interesting. So again, it's not only uh, white plates or it could be a wood as you could see here. It looks like a wood plate. But in fact, it's very inspirational. It brings more imagination to the table. And at the same time, like a storytelling. So for example, this one, yes. we have a, a set of six plates. Oh. And on six plates, you see a story. So you can read through the story on the table and create a kind of storytelling among the guests. That's you know, cool, I've never heard about that. I was about 30, a man phoned to say that he and I were making similar work. And then we should meet. I always worry I might miss and then you need to find exactly. the other plane. So it's very interesting, plate. so it really creates interaction with people. And the idea again, as I said, is we work with artists, but also most of the design are also done internally. I love the arty really fact of it. To raise it's a like traditional uh, home, house, but still like the arty element. Exactly. So to really uh, add up what you say is craftsmanship. So the Berdo uh, brand has been well known around the world for yes. quality yes. And, and creativity. Great combination. Thank you so much, Thibault. I learned a lot. Bye bye. Thank you. So here we have Emil Jealousy from Ecology. Emil, can you tell me about your product? Uh, yes, so the company, as you said, uh, is uh, called Ecology. Uh, it's a uh, Mills uh, Unan uh, delivery company. Okay. So basically, we, uh, we uh, create meal plans done by dietitian uh, to be uh, uh, according to what we want to do, factors or, or just healthy living, or if you want to book, if you do lots of sports. So it's, uh, it's created by dietitian and it's yours with many recipes, and it's cooked by chef every day. Uh, very fresh, and it's delivered every day to uh, either your home or your office. Uh, so we have uh, four different plans. One is called Light to the Lights, which uh, has uh, uh, its uh, name. Uh, Say it says to fat to do the fat loss, the fat loss into we have a low calorie chart of this one. Then the another bit for the balance feeding, which is for the people who just want to have the right fibers, the right uh, vitamins in all their food. We don't you know no process for that all. Uh, we do everything from scratch. Uh, one is for the team of performance, it's more, more looking to uh, to fitness people. Uh, so it's high protein, uh, high carb, uh, you can go up to a sweet house. And we have another one with a tailor made. So we basically do exactly what you want. And the service is uh, linked with the, the dietitian. We send the client to the dietitian who makes a complete uh, uh, body composition and will. Uh, Will have, will, uh, the dietitian will say, okay, I suggest you have that, and we we'll, we'll use a little according to that, and then we'll be able to. It is, it is, it can be very, uh, we have to use it, but it's really uh, uh, really set up to, to be easy, and we just have to fix it. So the, the, the internet, the website is going to be uh, uh, live one day, and, uh, and uh, so you have to three little plans that are already uh, set up, and one, the website is going to be uh, www.ecologyasia.com. Yeah, it's going to be like Monday. It's very beautiful. Uh, and we're very happy with the website. What gave you inspiration to the Actually, it's, uh, I do, uh, I, I'm working with four partners, but uh, it's, uh, it's, it came from me. Because I was, uh, when I arrived in, uh, in Hong Kong, I, I decided I'm really healthy. And we in this fitness, and, and, and one of the most important things is to get the right food. You can do uh, as many sports as you want if you want to 
we're not going to get any result. So when I, I, I learned that, I started to, 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 to try to keep for me, waiting everything at home and, and get all my boxes at work and it was so time consuming. Uh, so fortunately I had someone at home at this time uh, to help me to create some recipes and do that. I applied to that and then uh, it was so good on me the results. It was so easy, I said, oh, we should do that for everyone. And, uh, I think Hong Kong is a very busy city. Uh, people don't have time uh, to cook. Uh, they work from mostly from 8 to 8 p.m. Uh, you know, they drink a lot. And some people, even the guy who really go into the fitness, they don't have time to cook. It's very expensive to get the right food as well. Give me back, give me back the goodies. Uh, all the shops where you can buy the real good food, the real good uh, it's expensive to do that, time consuming, and people do a lot of time. So I thought the idea was really good. It was done for Hong Kong, I think. I think there's a different type of person, uh, person people who want to have results like marathons. We have the program for one minute, two months. Uh, we guarantee results. If you follow the program, we guarantee the results of it. Uh, we, uh, we already did the first customer when we did the soft lunch, one of those in two weeks. So seven kilos uh, without being hungry because we, uh, we use lots of fibers, lots of protein. We have, uh, Three minutes plus two snacks, so every three hours you can something. So those people who want to have an effective diet, but to go and take any time and so the container that, that will do. And the reason we have the people, the fitness people, and then the people that I just want to eat clean, but uh, they want to have the service of being delivered. Yeah. And, uh, and, and the food we're doing is. Uh, so imagine if we have like a, the breakfast done every morning, you know, so you just arrive at work and you have all your bags, all, all bags are beautiful, so I didn't know if we will uh, we do, but I would have all the bags, we have beautiful bags, all the boxes are completely compostable, because it has to be like that, you can't sell that plastic box, it's a thing we're going to do, let's see, Food company and then and, 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 uh, forget that. So, uh, so, uh, so, uh, but, uh, so that's that's for the people who are going to have to pay your food diet, people who need too much of your time, single people as well, single people, you don't want to go to the center and dinner. Uh, so it's, uh, this is so convenient, you know, have that. We don't think about it. Food. I mean, honestly, like, uh, yeah. Yes, yes, I think we just started 10, 10 years ago and we are very, very good clients. So the clients are very happy and they talk. And every, everyone who will talk about that is neighbor, you know. They won't come back, you know, exactly. So, it's so nice. So, thank you. Very nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do it. I'll do it. Thank you very much for your time. See you.